Hi everyone, welcome to our learning video sessions on Microsoft Excel for Chemical Engineers. This video lesson teaches how to use Microsoft Excel software for the unit conversion problems in chemical engineering. As chemical engineers, we have to communicate the information via dimensions and units. We must indicate the applied units for every values that we use in chemical engineering calculations. In chemical engineering, we have to use both SI and American engineering unit systems. Now on the screen, you can see the common units that we use in our calculations. In American engineering unit system, there are pound mass and pound force units. When we apply the fundamentals, we can see that the conversion factor between pound force and pound mass is 32.174. However, when we perform chemical engineering calculations, we meet many unit conversions. By experience, we know that some students really feel difficult to do the unit conversions properly. This is very important because if we make any mistake in the unit conversion step of a chemical engineering problem, we will surely end up with wrong answers. Normally, you can refer the unit conversion tables to find out the relationships among the different units and the conversion factors. However, we can use some special functions in Microsoft Excel to easily convert among different units. For examples, let's say we want to convert the following amounts in one unit into another unit. First, we need to convert 100 grams into pounds. Then 75 centimeters into inches, 100 degrees Fahrenheit into Celsius and Kelvin, 20 ATM pressure into PSI. First, let's convert these values using conversion factors from tables. The conversion factors from tables are 1 pound is equal to 453.6 grams, 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, degree Celsius is equal to degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 multiplied by 5 over 9 or 0 0.56 and Kelvin is equal to degree Celsius plus 273.14. And ATM pressure is equal to 14.7 PSI. So we can just apply these conversion factors into calculation and find out the unit conversion values in Excel software. But this is similar to the manual calculation method. Only difference is we use Excel software instead of the calculator. But beyond this, there are special functions in Excel software that allow us to convert units without knowing the conversion factors. Let's see how to do that now. It's a simple function, that is the convert function. When you type the equal sign and convert function, then we can see the order of the formula. So within brackets, we can select the cell with the value and then comma, the current unit of the value. Here we can see a drop down list. So we can select its gram, then comma, 
and the unit that we want to convert. So we can select pound. Now we can see the answer is almost equal to the value from the conversion factor. Similarly, we can apply the same procedure for other unit conversions. Now we can see Microsoft Excel software provides us another method for unit conversion without knowing any unit conversion factor. For the multiplier units, we can use the abbreviation shown on the screen. As an example, to convert 270 grams into kilograms, we can use equal sign convert within brackets 270 comma gram as the original unit and the converted unit as simple kg another example to convert 0 0.00293 meters into micrometers we can use convert within brackets the value the original unit as meters and the abbreviation of simple U for micro so that is UM. So it's pretty easy to convert units in Excel software without knowing any conversion factor. However, you must know the abbreviations for each unit for quick calculations. When you practice unit conversion with Excel software, you can easily keep in mind these abbreviations because these abbreviations are very closer to the common abbreviations we use in our field. Okay, now let's take an example problem and verify our knowledge on unit conversion and let's see how we can use Microsoft Excel software to make our life easy with advanced unit conversion problems. Now we can see our example problem in a drug production process, the exit stream from a reactor flows at 10.3 liters per minute. The drug concentration is 41.2% by weight in water and the specific gravity of the solution is 1.025. We need to calculate the concentration of the drug in units of kilograms per liter of solution and the exit stream mole flow rate in kilogram mole per minute. Molecular weight of the drug is 192 gram per mole. We have to do this type of unit conversion problems in many chemical engineering design calculations. So when we have to solve advanced unit conversion problems like this, we have to follow few important steps. The first step is selecting a unit basis. When selecting a unit basis, we have to consider the final answer required and it should make our calculation easier. So in this case, let's select the basis as 1 kilogram of solution. The second step is when solving unit conversion problems, it's a very efficient and accurate method to use a table format. So in Excel software, we can easily perform this method using the cells. We know that the density of the drug solution can be found from the specific gravity. So in this case, the density of the solution is 1.025 gram solution per cubic centimeter. We can start the unit conversion from the basis, that is 0 0.412 kg of drug is in 1 kg of solution. Then we use 1.025 kg of solution in 1 litre of solution to cancel the kilograms unit. So we can calculate the final answer as 
0.4223 kg of drug per 1 liter of solution. For the second question, we can use the basis as 1 minute because we have to find the flow rate. So we apply the table form unit conversion 10.3 liters of solution per 1 minute from the previous answer 0.422 kg of drug in 1 liter of solution and we can cancel the unit liter. Then 1 kg mole of the drug is in 192 kilogram of the drug. So we can cancel the unit of kilogram as well. Now we can make sure that the final unit is the one we required that is kilogram mole per minute. So we can apply the calculation and find the answer is 0 0.0226 kilogram mole per minute. Like this, you can use Microsoft Excel software to make unit conversion problems easier. In this video lesson, first you learned how to convert units in Microsoft Excel software without having unit conversion factors. The format of unit conversion is convert within brackets number from unit and to unit. Then you learn how to use Excel software for advanced unit conversion problems with an example solution. We could see that the Excel software helps us to calculate in table format of unit conversion. You can use these methods with Excel software for more accurate chemical engineering calculations in the future. That's the end of our video lesson. Have a nice day and goodbye.